Hey everyone, welcome back to my living room. <laughs> so I used to do these videos on Instagram all the time, the IGTV videos, where I would just kind of sit down and talk to you guys and kind of just catch up with you, and I really, really miss doing that. Um, so I thought that we could just do that today, kind of like have a little catch up. I'm gonna put my makeup on and just kind of like talk to you guys, kind of like tell you guys what's been going on. So this is definitely gonna be like a chit chatty, kind of sit down, do my makeup with me kind of video. So if you're not interested in that, I will see you in the next video, which will be resin, I promise. So yeah, you guys, I mean, I don't know, it feels weird to like not be working with resin and to just be like sitting on my living room floor with my makeup just spread out across my my coffee table but um yeah I just kind of like I really miss just talking with you guys um and just kind of connecting on like basic level I'm not trying to show you guys any resin there's gonna be no resin in the making of this video so I mean besides my palette this thing I I made this I don't even remember when and I hated it so I kept it and made it my makeup palette so there is a poppy flower in there which is still really pretty but I hated the ink anyway I have already done my eyebrows and that is because and I don't know if this is gonna shock any of you <laughs> or if you've already noticed that this is the situation um, but I shave off from like right here out so I like shave the tail end of my eyebrow off and that is because my my natural eyebrow goes like so far down and like really cuts off like my lid space and you guys know that I like to do really crazy eyeshadow sometimes, so I shave off the tail end of my eyebrows so that I can draw a new tail end and just kind of like have it go out and have more lid space. So right now I have like basically no eyebrow and I just kind of have this little like from right here to right here, that's the amount of eyebrow that I actually have. Uh, it does look really weird without you know, like my full eyebrow drawn on. So I did it off camera. I hope that's okay. I feel like that's one of those boring things too, right? We're gonna get started on some actual foundation. This is so weird for me. I also wanted to do um, my makeup like this because I really wanna do makeup videos. I'm just really nervous because obviously makeup is like, you know, it's, so far from like you know making resin videos and I'm just really afraid that people are gonna be like oh this is not what I subscribe for although I do know that a lot of people comment and ask for you know makeup videos I don't know I'm just like I'm really nervous about it so this isn't gonna be like a tutorial or anything like I said this is just kinda like sit down with me and catch up um, but yeah I really want to do makeup videos I know I said that like a hundred million times, so I'm sorry if you're annoyed that I haven't like officially sat down to do it, but this was kind of like, I thought this could be my trial and see how I kind of like feel about it. Although I will say I did do kind of a test. <laughs> I did try to do a makeup kind of like, it wasn't like a serious tutorial, it was just, again, one of those tests. Um, that I was trying to do to see if I could, you know, make sense of a makeup video or if it would just be terrible. <laughs> and it, you know, I mean, you guys didn't end up seeing it, so you can probably guess how it went. <laughs> Doing a resin project takes so long because you have to let it cure. So it's not just like sitting down. And I'm not comparing, like, no one type of video is, like, harder to do than the next. But, like, you know, um, it would be nice to just, like, be able to sit down and make a YouTube video, like, start to finish in one sitting. Because I'm so used to making videos that are, like, you know, that take me four days. That's, like, the average time that um, my YouTube videos normally take me. Oh. I'll touch on this a little bit later, but I got a new camera, so we have like a big box over here, and Kitty has just been making it her new bed, basically, so um, if you hear like rustling of cardboard and stuff, that is her going in and out of the box. But yeah, anyway, resin videos just take a long time, so it's like kind of nice to, to try to do, do <laughs> videos that are just sit down, film, and it's like you're basically done filming in that 
time, unless you do like a you know foundation review or anything like that. What you know what I'm trying to say. The other day in one of my resin videos, I said that I'm just a goofball playing with resin, and that goes for everything I do. So don't ever take any of like my makeup techniques. Um, seriously, I'm just a goofball playing with makeup. I'm just a goofball no matter what I'm doing. I'm a goofball at it, so um, don't ever take it seriously. I knew there was a hair there. So yeah, I'm just kind of like afraid that people will <laughs> take it too seriously and be like, oh, you're not supposed to do it that way, or you're not supposed to like put your foundation on like that, or whatever. But like, I think I just need to get over it. Because I really love doing my makeup and it would just be really cool to have something else to share with you guys too because I started my channel working with resin because it's something I really love to do um, and I wanted to share it with people and so you know I, I love doing my makeup and you know I get a lot of questions and a lot of people asking to do um, makeup videos so I, I really do want to do it. I feel like I keep saying that and you guys have to keep waiting for it but hopefully you guys are watching this right now and um, you know this will kind of be like me dipping my toe this is my toe into the waters of makeup videos I feel like you guys are gonna hate me if I don't tell you at least what I'm using so uh, my foundation is the L'Oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear and then the concealer I used was the Born This Way concealer, and is that what I've done so far? Oh, my eyebrows were done with the Anastasia Dip Brow, right? This is what that's called? Yeah, Dip Brow. See, I'm just like, I'm afraid that I'm going to call things the wrong name, pronounce things wrong. But like I said, I just need to get over it. So yeah, anyway, I want to catch up with you guys. How are you all doing? Like, what have you been up to? Are you working on anything? Also, I want to know. How many of you are like resin artists? Like how many of my subscribers are resin artists that are like watching my videos to learn how to like make resin themselves? And how many of you are just like watching my videos for fun? Because I feel like I get comments a lot that are, you know, that say like that they don't work with resin. And I find that so interesting that I, I have subscribers that don't work with resin because I feel that's all I do really, right? I mean, I suppose it would be really fun to watch somebody else do their thing, but I just find it really interesting that I have some people that watch my videos but don't work with resin. I love that. I think that that's actually really cool. Anyway, uh, resin artist or not, let me know how you're doing and what you've been up to, resin or not. <laughs> By the way, the powder I was using to set uh, my makeup was the Juvia's Place, what is this called? Eye Magic Setting Powder. And for bronzer, I'm using the, but yeah, do you call this Ace Beauty? The packaging for their palettes, um, do I have another one here? No. Are always stunning, stunning, so pretty. So I'm filming on a new camera, and this is like kind of a big update. I, when I started my channel, I like so badly wanted to get a like big girthy camera and obviously they're you know they're super expensive so I you know I wanted that to be one of my big goals is to get a really like you know a really great camera and so when I was able to get this camera it was kind of like it was honestly a moment for me because I don't know. I I sort of didn't think that it was ever really going to happen. I, that's not meant to sound like, you know, sad or anything. I just, I don't know. I didn't think I would be able to like afford a camera like this. By the way, it is the Canon EOS 80D. Um, and you know what's so funny is I watch Raw Beauty Christie um, and I just like, I swear days after I ordered this camera, I realized I like heard in one of her videos that, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, my camera just, it's hilarious that we were talking about um, my camera and how excited I was that I had it, and then it just stops recording. Um, so that's really, that's quite the display of greatness from my camera. Anyway, so what I was saying was that I watched Rob Beauty Christie and I realized like days after I ordered this camera that her camera is the same camera as mine and if you watch her videos she's always got this like am I orange thing going and I was like no 
<laughs> I mean, not that I hope that it's just her camera that does that, because that really sucks. Okay. <laughs> but, like, I really hope my camera doesn't do that. Like, I, I, you know, I was, like, watching one of her older videos, and she said that it's the ADD. And I was like, are you serious? <laughs> but, like, I can't imagine that all ADD cameras... It sounds like I'm saying ADD. ADD cameras um, have that, you know, issue with them. So, but I don't know. I just thought it was so funny that I like ordered this camera and then found out that her camera that does the orange thing is this camera. So what I was using before was the, the Canon G7X Mark II, I think. But yeah, that's more of like a, I mean, it's a great camera. I'm still going to use it, um, but it's definitely more for like, vlogging I guess. It's a really small camera but it is a really great camera as well but I was just really excited to get like a bigger camera and start like you know kind of like getting into better quality things. I also got <laughs> a mic and it's like a little you know lapel mic that you like clip right here and then it hooks up to my camera which that's a whole system I didn't even like understand for the longest time and I still kind of don't. So I had to get um, a, I think it's called like a lavalier mic and it is, it's really cool. I mean, I still obviously have to figure it out. I did film the moon ring holder video with my entire new setup, my new camera and my new um, lavalier. I'm sure you guys saw that because it was the poorly placed, <laughs> you know, like little mic thing. Um, but yeah, so I did, oh, did I figure a blush? Film that video on all of my new stuff. So I, you know, and I've started editing it, um, and I definitely still need to like play around with the settings and stuff. There was like still a really loud, like white noise in all of the audio. So I don't really know why I obviously, like I said, I need to like still play around with the settings, but I'm trying you guys, I'm trying to up the quality of things so that you guys can see stuff better. You can hear me better. You don't have to hear like the background sound of the design house, which is honestly pretty loud because like there are fans going, there's, you know, I work in front of like a big garage door um, and like right across the street is another business that they're pretty loud. <laughs> like, I don't know what they do exactly, but they got a lot going on over there. And I'm always trying to like drown out that sound or like, you know, edit the audio a little bit so that you guys can't hear it that much. But like, there's always these like high pitched, like hissing sounds that will just come out of nowhere. I know you guys have seen it in my bloopers. Um, but yeah, they'll just like, I'll be talking, blah, 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 and then you'll hear like, and it's, it's, you know, it is what it is, but that is all fine with me because the space itself is magical, and like, I don't know, I, uh, when I was doing the ring holder video, I did some clips at the end, you know, the close-up clips, and just being able to like, I don't know, there's always flowers there, there's always plants, there's always like, beautiful things there that I, you know, can film next to or whatever. It's just, it's honestly just magical. And I'm, I'm forever, forever, eternally grateful to be able to work in that space. It's beautiful. The people there, um, like, I know I said this in my, in my, um, you know, design house tour, but, um, for blush, by the way, I am using the Milani Big powder blush in Luminoso. Oh my God. So I have this like huge project coming up and I'm, I'm honestly really nervous about it because, and I don't want to give you guys too many details because I want it to be kind of a surprise, but I am going to be working on like a table. Like I am going to be working on, uh, I really want to tell you guys what it is. And I know how annoying it is to be like, Oh, I can't tell you guys yet. Um, but I just want the video to be like a surprise and the most, you know, exciting it can be, but just to like give you guys a little bit of detail, I will be working in Apotheca in their coffee bar. They have this counter that's got kind of a space that I will be working in. And that's all I'm going to give you guys. Um, just because like I said, a thousand times already. I want it to be a surprise and I want it to be really exciting, but yeah, I'm, I'm so nervous about it because it's like, it's their counter, you know, it's their like coffee bar 
counter. I don't know. What if I mess it up? What if it comes out terrible? What if I pour resin all over the floor? <laughs> like I just, I don't know. I'm nervous about it, but I'm also really excited. The idea that we have is just stop. It's amazing. I'm excited. So yeah, that's going to be coming. And I also have, so I got this coffee table that we're sitting on, working on right now, working on, that I'm doing my makeup on and filming. Um, and I have an idea for it. You know, it's a really nice table, but it'd be missing some things. And I, I want to do a video with that. So I have some video ideas that I'm excited about, but I know will take a while to film. So if you guys see that a video is late or like a few days late, or like I'm telling you guys that, um, you know, I have to work on some things and it's not going to come out on Wednesday, whatever. It's probably one of those things. I imagine that the Apotheca thing is going to be extremely time consuming. By the way, the highlighter I'm using is the Colored Rain Focal Point Glow Lighters in Selfie. Do any of you like love when palettes come in like sleeves? I have to keep the sleeve. I cannot get like get rid of them because they're so pretty, especially this one. This is the Colored Rain, what is it called? Queen of Hearts palette. Stop, it's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna try to like keep you guys zoomed in for the eyeshadow part. I don't know. I'm like, I feel so dumb doing makeup videos because like I watch a lot of them and they're all, you know, like super high quality, super nice and beautiful wonder back, wonder, wonder backdrops, <laughs> wonderful backdrops. And I don't know. I just like, I have my couch in the background, so. That's it. That's all I'm gonna do. I mean, in the viewfinder, it looks really crazy, but in person, it doesn't look as dark as it does in the viewfinder. But yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go off camera now and do the other eye, and I will be right back. Okay, so this is my makeup completely done. These are the eyes that we ended up with. I did mess up, like, a lot over here on my eyeliner. Some weeks I cannot do my eyeliner to save my life um, and this is just one of those weeks. So yeah, this is what we've ended up with. It's purpley and orangey and gold. I really like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just like catching up with me, doing my makeup, chit chatting. I don't know. I really enjoy just like, I don't have to worry about like making anything. We can just kind of like hang out. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram. It is at arts, at, at, you can follow me on Instagram. It is at artsy mad woman. I love you guys so freaking much and I will see you on the next video. Bye. You can kind of like dance with me on my outro. <laughs> okay, bye.